Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Thank you so much for your patience as I work on uploading new content. But today I'm bringing you a intermediate vinyasa class. Um, you don't necessarily need any props for this flow. If you have yoga blocks handy that you like using in your practice, then feel free to grab those. But other than that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're going to start in a supine position. So we're going to lay on our backs. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, so the soles of the feet are together, the knees are spread open nice and wide. You can rest your hands on your thighs, or you can just have them extended out along the sides. You can place one hand over your heart, one on the low belly. Wherever you are, just take a few moments to settle into your body. Just taking a full deep breaths, being mindful of the different sensations in your body, noticing what you've brought to your mat today. Are there certain areas in your body you're hoping to release some tension, some tightness? Maybe you're just looking to relax a little bit. Find some more openness, some more comfort, whatever it is. Find your intention. Begin to soften the shoulders, feeling the shoulder blades pressing into the yoga mat, relaxing the facial muscles, the jaw, the cheeks, the space in between the eyebrows. And feel the steady rise and fall of your chest as you inhale and as you exhale. Taking three more deep, full breaths here, filling the lungs completely. And as you exhale, let it all out. And we'll slowly draw the knees together. Bring the knees close into the chest. Give yourself one big hug. Release your feet back to the mats. Allow your feet to be about hip width distance apart. Bring your palms to touch the surface floor. And as you inhale, you're going to peel your low back, your mid back up off of the mat. So you're lifting your hips, coming into bridge pose. Keep your core nice and tight here. Try to relax the shoulders. Try not to let your knees uh, move too much here. So you wanna make sure that they're still hip width distance apart. Two more deep breaths. Good. And very slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, lower the hips back down. Draw the knees into the chest and slowly rock yourself up, coming into a seated position. Cross the ankles here, roll onto your hands and knees. So we're coming into our tabletop pose. 
Make sure your joints are stacked here. So wrists underneath shoulders and knees underneath hips. As you inhale, you're going to drop the belly, lift the gaze, open your heart. Exhale, round through the spine, draw the tailbone in, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze. And exhale, round through the spine. So keep moving through your cats and cows, following your movements with your breath. Really pressing down through the palms of your hands. And open your heart. Good, just a few more rounds here and finding any other intuitive movement that might feel good. Maybe you rock the hips from side to side, find some spinal rolls. Then coming back to a neutral tabletop, from here we'll tuck the toes, send the hips down and back, and very slowly lift the knees up. Straighten out the legs as best you can. Send the hips up high. And we'll just pedal out the feet in our downward facing dog. Bend one knee and bend the other. Good, finding some stillness. Then we'll lift the right leg for three points. Even out the hips, even weight in the hands here. Then we'll bend the knee, open up the hips, drawing the right heel towards the left glute. Keep both armpits facing the yoga mat. Good, inhale back up, straighten out the leg. As you exhale, twist. So you're gonna bring the right knee to the left elbow, rounding through the upper spine, and then inhale back up, three-legged down dog. You're going to step the right foot forward, coming in between the hands, drop the back knee, coming into our low lunge. So find your foundation here, strong through the core, keep the back leg nice and engaged. Then you're going to bring the left hand inside of the right foot, either twisting, bringing your right arm up towards the sky, or you have the option to use your right hand to gently open up the right hip. Keep your chest lifted, open the heart. Good, place the right hand back down, framing the front foot. Then we're going to straighten out the right leg. So coming onto the heel, coming into half splits. So you can have a slight bend at the knee here, that's perfectly okay, just to protect that knee. Get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. So we'll inhale, lift and open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Then we'll inhale, shift forward into our low lunge. Open the heart. Exhale, straighten out the right leg, forward fold. Few more times, inhale, low lunge, bend the knee, open up the shoulders, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, moving at your own pace. Good, from here we'll plant the hands, come back into our low lunge. We're going to tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up off of the ground. With our core strength, we're going to bring that right foot back up into our three-legged downward facing dog.
From here, we're going to come up high onto the left toes, shift our body weight forward. So coming into a plank pose, we're going to bend the elbows, coming all the way down onto the belly. Cobra, three rounds. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly peel yourself back up. Exhale. Inhale, maybe you come up onto the fingertips. Lift the chest. And exhale. Hands underneath the shoulders here. Tuck the toes. Send the hips down and back. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts for three points. Even weight in the hands. And then we'll bend the knee, open up the hip, drawing the left heel towards the right glutes. Good, straighten out for three leg down dog. And then we'll send the left knee twist towards the right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, step that left foot forward, drop the back knee, low lunge, Anjane Asana. Find your foundation, strong through the core, strong through the back leg. Then you'll plant your right hand down, either twisting towards the left, bringing the arm up towards the sky, staying here or bringing that left hand, opening up the left hip. Keep the chest open. Good, plant the left hand down, framing the front foot. We're going to straighten out the left leg, coming into half splits. Inhale, open the heart and exhale, fold. Inhale, bending through that front knee, lift your gaze. And exhale, straighten up leg, forward fold. So move through this two or three more times. Inhale, lift the gaze, and exhale, fold. Inhale, coming through our low lunge, we're going to tuck the back toes, lift that back knee up, using your arms really push through the palms, step that left foot back, coming into our three-legged down dog. Good, from here we'll inhale high in the right toes, shift the body weight forward, bend the elbows, come all the way down onto the belly. Cobra, three rounds, inhale, lift the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly peel yourself back up. Exhale. Inhale, maybe you come up on to the fingertips, lift the chest, and exhale. Hands underneath the shoulders here, tuck the toes, send the hips down and back, downward facing dog. Right foot lifts for three points. Step it forward in between the hands. Spin that left foot out slightly, coming into warrior one. So as you inhale, lift the arms up. Keep your core nice and engaged. Tuck the low belly in towards the spine. 
Then we'll bend the elbows, coming into goddess arms. Open the chest, lift the gaze. And then we'll interlace the hands behind the back. Open up the chest. Take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, forward fold into humble warrior. So you're reaching your fist up towards the sky. Crown of your head is reaching for the floor. Good, slowly make your way back up. Release the hands, inhale back to warrior one. Then we'll bring the hands to the hips. Readjust the back foot slightly. So maybe bring it up a few inches. Straighten out the front leg. Inhale to find a length through the spine. Exhale, forward fold, coming into triangle pose, trikonasana. You can release your hands back down to the earth. Good, from here we're going to shift the body weight forward, planting the right hand down. If you have a yoga block, this would be a good place to grab it. Otherwise, coming onto either the fingertips or grounding your palm into the mat. You can have a slight bend in the front knee here, it's perfectly okay, but we're coming into balancing half moon. Once you find your solid ground, go ahead and reach the left hand up towards the sky. Challenge yourself here. Maybe you lift that back foot up slightly even more. It's okay if you fall out of the posture. Challenge yourself here. Keep breathing. Good, then we're going to go ahead and bend through that front knee. Spin onto the back foot, coming into our warrior two. So the arms are extended forwards and backwards. Make sure that knee is in line with the hip. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Good, then we'll spin the palms onto the ground. Step the left foot forward to meet the right foot. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. We'll bring our hands to heart center, twist towards the right side. From here, you have a few different options to play around with. You can extend the arms straight out in front of you so that the right fingers are reaching up towards the sky. Left hand is planted. You can stay here. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can move into side crow. So you're going to find a twist here, planting your hands so that they're parallel with the side of your yoga mat. Then you're going to bend the elbows, coming into a chaturanga-like shape, resting the uh, knees on the left elbows, shifting your body weight forward. Maybe you play around with lifting your toes up off of the mat. Coming back through center, once you're done playing around with that, and then we'll find a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Step the feet back, coming into a downward facing dog. If you'd like to move through a vinyasa here, feel free to do so. And just take a moment to catch your breath. Come back to this space.
We'll lift the left leg this time for three points. Step it forward in between both hands. Spin onto the outer edge of the back foot. Inhale, warrior one. Bend the elbows, goddess arms. Lift the chest and heart. And then interlace the fingers behind the low back. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, humble warrior. Again, strong through the back foot, reaching the fist towards the sky. We'll slowly inhale. Release the hands, spin them back up, reaching fingertips towards the sky. And we'll bring our hands to our hips, readjust the back foot slightly, straighten out the left leg, deep inhale here, and exhale forward fold. You can bring your hands back down to the earth. From here, we'll plant the left hand down. Again, you can use a block here if you need to. Lift the right leg up, coming into balancing half moon. Reach the right hand up towards the sky. And then if that's easy for you, maybe you switch your gaze from the floor towards the ceiling. Good, then we're going to bend through the front knee, spin the arms around, warrior two. So your front toes are facing the front of the mat. Your back foot is parallel with the back of the mat. Breathe here, relax the shoulders. Go ahead and windmill the hands back down. Step the right foot forward to meet the left foot. Inhale, lift the arms, keep the knees bent, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, twist towards the left side. Finding any variation here that you like, so you can stay here, you can extend the arms wide, if you feel like you want to go ahead and play around with side crow, then play around with it. Plant your hands down so that they're parallel with the side of the yoga mat. Shift your body weight forward. So you're bringing the knees onto the elbows. Shifting your body weight forward. Good. When you're ready, come back down. Nice and quick. Coming back into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Plant the hand, step it back. Downward facing dog. You can move through vinyasa here. And we'll all meet in downward facing dog. <sighs> relax the shoulders, relax the head and neck. From here, right leg lifts, three point. Bring the right knee to the right elbow, and then we'll go ahead and drop the foot, coming into pigeon pose. So maybe you inch that back foot slightly. Trying your best to square your hips as much as you can here. If you need to put a block or a bolster underneath that right hip, if that's a little more comfortable for you, feel free to do so. But finding your expression of the pose. So do what feels right in your body. Good. 
You have the option to stay up right here, or you can find a forward fold. And we'll take three or four deep breaths here. If you're in a forward fold, go ahead and slowly make your way back up. Planting your palms fir firmly on the ground. We'll tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up. With your core strength, lift the right knee up, coming back into our three-legged down dog. Drop the foot back down. Go ahead and lift the opposite leg. Then we'll draw the left knee to the left elbow and then place the foot back down, coming into pigeon pose on the left side. So again, find your expression of this pose. If something doesn't feel right, adjust, add a prop, make a modification. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, ease a little bit more into the pose. Let go of any tension, any tightness. Maybe find a forward fold. And two more deep breaths here. Good. Go ahead. If you are in a forward fold, slowly make your way up. Plant your hands back down. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. Coming back into our three-legged down dog. Step the left foot down. From here, we'll just bend the knees, cross the ankles, and go ahead and sit on the glutes so that we can come onto the back. And we'll just find one simple inversion here. We'll find shoulder stand. So coming into the center of the yoga mat, the knees are bent. And then we'll just rock ourselves up so that we are just on our backs. Your legs are lifted up here. And if this is comfortable for you here, you can extend the legs, flex the toes, And then if this is comfortable for you, if you want to take it a step further, you can lift the hips up off of the mat. Use your hands to support your low back. So your hands are on your low back slash hips. You're going to wiggle <laughs> your um, elbows inside slightly. Lifting the legs here. Relax the head and neck. Make sure that you're keeping your neck straight so your gaze should be at your toes, not looking side to side. And once you're ready, you can slowly drop the hips back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. and begin to prepare for Shavasana. So 
So we'll extend the feet out as wide as we can. Toes pointed towards the outer edge of our yoga mat. Hands are spread wide, palms face up. And begin to close the eyes. Melting the shoulder blades into the ground. Relaxing the back of the body, the spine, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves and the heels. Letting go of any tension in the face, the eye sockets, the temples, We'll stay here for a few minutes or as long as you'd like. Resting in Shavasana. With your next breath, slowly bring your awareness back into your body. Begin to wiggle the toes, the fingers. Maybe finding other small movements. Maybe circles with the wrists or the ankles. Maybe you draw the soles of your feet onto the yoga mat. Give yourself a big squeeze, one last hug. And then when you're ready, slowly make your way up into a seated position. And just noticing any changes you feel in your body, 
maybe physically, mentally, or emotionally. And just find gratitude for yourself for making it onto your mat and for practicing today. And thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this flow. And I will see you guys in the next video. Namaste.